वी हैव चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया डॉक्टर जस्टिस धनंजय यशवंत चंदचूल थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर जॉइनिंग एन डी टी वी सर माई क्वेश्चन इज जुडिशरी अंडर लीडरशिप ऑफ यू यू विजिटेड कच्छ फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया सी जी आई विद फेलो सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजेज विजिटेड कच्छ टू एड्रेस एंड अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक जुडिशरी डिस्ट्रिक जजेज यू यू टॉक यू टॉक विद दैम हाउ यू सी वट आर द प्रॉब्लम्स देयर इन डिस्ट्रिक कोर्ट स्पेशली एंड हाउ यू विल एश्योर कॉमन पीपल के दे विल गेट जस्टिस फ्रॉम एवरी वे फ्रॉम टॉप फ्रॉम सुप्रीम कोर्ट टू डिस्ट्रिक जुडिशरी वेल आशीष नॉर्मली the dialogue between the higher judiciary that is the supreme court and the high courts is with each other and i thought that has to change uh, because the first point of contact for our citizens is with the district judiciary aam nagrik ka aam nagrik ki koi samasya aati hai to pehle court kachari kaun si court jaate hain wo sarvoch nyayalay mein aana unko mushkil ho jata hai pehla jo unka point of contact hai वो जिला न्यायालय है फ्रॉम दैट परस्पेक्टिव आई थॉट दैट इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट वी एंगेज विद द डिस्ट्रिक्ट जजेस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर द इश्यूज व्हिच कन्फ्रंट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट जुडिशरी बिकॉज व्हेन वी स्ट्रेंदन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट जुडिशरी वी आर रियली गोइंग टू स्ट्रेंदन द इंटरफेस ऑफ आर सिटीजन विद द डिस्ट्रिक्ट जुडिशरी एंड फ्रॉम दैट परस्पेक्टिव वी हैड दिस नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ ओवर टू जजेस फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द स्पेक्ट्रम इन कच्छ Uh, all belonging to the district judiciary uh, it was a conference where i heard uh, their stories uh, heard their perspectives their opinions so that we can change our policy making to adapt to their uh, issues and of questions which concern them because through the judges who have a direct interface with common citizens we gain to learn a lot more about the problems of uh, the stakeholders in our system including the litigants uh the lawyers who come to courts uh marginalized groups who seek access to justice women what kind of issues they have when they have a case in a court so i thought this was a very unique uh attempt and this is going to be a forerunner for a larger conference of over a thousand judges which we are planning to convene uh drawn uh, from the district judiciary all over the country again in delhi sir uh one more thing now techno you have introduced a uh, technology in the judiciary uh, an advocate sitting in kanyakumari can uh, join proceedings in supreme court litigant also can see it what is your future plan how to means uh, use technology at uh, uh, at best uh, for the betterment of common people uh, my mission in the use of technology is to ensure that the work which the supreme court and the high courts and the district judiciary perform goes to the homes and to the lives of common citizens so let's be very clear the object of introducing technology and modernizing the judiciary is not to make this a new silo away from the lives of citizens but to use technology to reach out to citizens i'll just give you a few examples very briefly uh, we have been having uh, hearings on video conferencing as a result of video conferencing the supreme court of india is no longer just a supreme court which is situated at tilak marg in delhi but it is truly i believe a supreme court which represents the nation a lawyer from across the country even a remote part of the country can access us on a simple uh, cell phone by getting the link of the uh, video conferencing hearings uh, likewise um, litigants who may or may not have cases in the supreme court can hear what is being done in the supreme court i personally feel that all citizens have a vital stake in understanding what work is done by the courts at one level of course the public revenues pay for the expenditure which we incur on the institutions so there is a right to know of citizens but beyond that i think common citizens will have a sense of faith and confidence in the work which we do as uh, courts once they realize uh, the seriousness with which even the smallest of issues smallest not for us smallest perhaps in the perspective of the larger issues which the court has to decide but small issues like pension for somebody the termination of the service of uh, somebody a misconceived fir which is lodged against somebody somebody who's in languishing in jail for years 
without parole or and as an under trial for several years without bail we take each of these issues very seriously uh, it is one thing for common citizens to see what is happening and very different to read what is happening when you see something you understand uh, what the courts are doing we are using other areas of technology for instance uh, i'm conscious of the fact that there is an internet divide in india har ek nagrik ke paas wohi laptop nahi hota hai har ek nagrik ke paas smartphone nahi hota hai so how do we ensure that nobody is left behind in this mission so we have opened now uh, about 18000 e seva kendras uh, across the district court complexes in uh, in india on a pilot basis so as to make available all the facilities of the e courts project which is a joint project of the department of justice of the government of india and the supreme court of india i am chairing that project for the last several years so we are opening up these e seva kendras Uh, so that all the facilities which are provided in the court uh, in terms of uh, access to electronic uh, e- electronic information uh, digitized files e filing even the passes to enter the courts these are available to common citizens uh, through the use of uh, technology and i i just thought i can share with you i mean i don't want to uh, you know sort of uh, dwell too much time on 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 some figures but you will be surprised to note that uh, as on 29th february 2024 uh, 3.09 crore cases have been heard on video conferencing mode all over the country in the high courts and in the district courts uh, as of date the data of about 21.6 crore cases of which 4.40 crore are pending cases and 25 crore final judgments and orders are available this data is available online um we have uh, you know e transactions the third figure which i'd like to share with uh, all your viewers is that the e tal website of the uh, court system uh, has recorded 46 crore e transactions from 1st of january 24 to 6th of march 24 so you'll understand the reach of the uh, project the ecourts project which we are implementing now uh, as part of phase 3 of the mission mode uh, project the uh, union government has sanctioned about 7200 crores for phase 3 and our mission now is not just to automate paper processes what we want to do is go beyond just automation uh, into a whole digital environment Uh, by digitizing files by ensuring that every part of our work which is done is through the use of uh, information and communications uh, technology speaking for myself my entire court is as you know uh, completely paperless yeah. all the files which come to us are in the digitized mode uh, so uh, we are in that sense also mentoring other courts in the country we are training stakeholders a large number of our uh, court staff uh, is uh, differently able uh, many of them are visually impaired so we have made, made sure that the websites uh, which are put forth by the district court complexes in india they also provide access to the visually impaired people so that no one is ultimately left behind in our mission to provide access to justice mm. sir as as a head of indian judiciary how you ensure common people that a uh, judiciary is for them and working hard for them let me put it in just a few sentences uh first and foremost i think the greatest strength of the supreme court of india and of our high courts and the district judiciary is that we are people's courts there's a purpose why these courts were created in terms of the constitutional structure and this was to ensure that irrespective of your wealth irrespective of social status irrespective of caste irrespective of religion irrespective of gender or any other social grouping uh, we provide justice to common citizens and there is no case which is too small even for the highest court of the nation and there is no case which is too big we treat everyone with the same sense of equal treatment and our mission ultimately is to stand by common people and we are con- and we are conscious of the fact 
that uh, irrespective of uh, who is in power, in which state, common people do have concerns, whether it is on issues pertaining to the daily lives or some of the more important issues which confront the nation. And the judiciary is a very vital element in the preservation of the rule of law. Uh, and it is when people have faith in the work which courts do that we really gain legitimacy as part of the overall constitutional fabric. So I want to send this message across that we are there for the common citizens every moment of our working lives. Sometimes I get emails even in the middle of the night and I'm always available to answer those emails. I got an email at close to midnight that there was a woman, a young woman who needed a medical termination of pregnancy. Uh, my staff got in touch with me. We constituted a bench right away the next day and those cases were heard. Uh, somebody's house is being demolished. Somebody is being evicted from a home. Uh, somebody has to surrender uh, to a sentence of jail but is suffering from a serious medical ailment. All these problems which are seemingly innocuous problems of individual citizens uh, occupy very serious, a serious attention of the courts. Sir, uh, you have been, you delivered many judgments uh, for uh, women rights especially. Do you think a lot more has to be done uh, for women empowerment? Uh, this is, uh, lots of cases uh, come to Supreme Court every day. We saw permanent commission in forces, many cases. So do, you, uh, do you feel that more has to be done? Well, there is gender bias in society also. Well, of course, you know, we have uh, overcome many challenges uh, to be where we are. Uh, there's no manner of doubt that as between what the status of women was in terms of levels of education when we gained independence and where we are today, uh, the country has really uh, progressed substantially. I'm, con I'm conversant about the progress which has been made in the legal profession itself. But having said that, uh, for all the work which has been done, particularly by the Indian judiciary, a great amount still remains to be done. You mentioned about you know, the grant of permanent commission to women in the armed forces, uh, which was part of a judgment delivered by the Supreme Court. As a result of the grant of permanent commission to women, you now have women in the army, navy and air force occupying very important roles of responsibility. You have women who are occupying important positions in the Indian judiciary itself. Uh, in the recent recruitment to the district judiciary in India, uh, in some states, the recruitment of women has uh, crossed 50%, in some cases 60% and nearing 70%. So that's just a sign of, I believe, the emerging uh, nation. Uh, that once you have uh, spread uh, education far and wide, more and more young women are being educated and they are coming into the workplace. The challenge is, having achieved so far what we have, how do we ensure that we build on what we have? without being complacent of, uh, with what we have. Recently, uh, we designated 13 women, 12 women, as uh, senior advocates uh, in the month of February uh, 2024 in the Supreme Court. From independence through to 2024, we had about 13 women who had been designated as senior counsel. Uh, so we have had at one go uh, an almost equivalent uh, number of women who have uh, come to the fore increasingly. Uh, young women lawyers uh, are choosing the legal profession, uh, both in terms of uh, jobs in law firms and in the mainstream, which is court practice. And I do believe that's a sign of a social transformation which is taking place in Indian society, uh, of which we should be very legitimately proud. And we must do everything that we, we can to ensure that having joined the workforce, uh, we create safe, secure and uh, dignified conditions of work for women. In the registry of the Supreme Court itself, uh, we have registrars who are very senior district judges who assist me and the Chief Justice of India um, in the work which we do. And I've made an effort to have women from different parts of the country come and work in the Supreme Court. So what this does really is that they bring in their experience of 20, 25 years working in the district judiciary and bring that to the Supreme Court uh, in helping us design policies for expanding access to justice. Mm. Sir, uh, let me ask one personal question. Uh, everybody talks about your f fitness, 
तो यू टेल एस व्यूअर वट इज डू सिंस थ्री थर्टी इन द मॉर्निंग टू लेट आवर्स एट एट नाइन ओ क्लॉक यू आर स्टिल ऑलवेज स्टिल इन सुप्रीम कोर्ट वर्किंग इन चैम्बर हाउ यू मैनेज इट सर आशीष मैं सुबह मेरा दिन मेरी दिनचर्या दिनचर्या ऐसी है मैं साढ़े तीन बजे सुबह मेरा दिन शुरू हो जाता है बिकॉज क्योंकि वो वक्त भी ऐसा होता है कि पूरी पूरा शांत वातावरण होता है माहौल शांत होता है उस समय थोड़ा सा मैं चिंतन कर सकता हूँ मनन कर सकता हूँ थोड़ा योगा भी करनाता हूँ मैं काफ़ी साल से मैं 20-25 साल से मैं योगा कर रहा हूँ योग कर रहा हूँ मैं और इसके अलावा मैं और माय बेस्ट फ्रेंड हु इज़ माय वाइफ कल्पना वी फॉलो अ बेसिक आयुर्वेदिक डाइटरी लाइफ स्टाइल both of us are vegans in our uh, in our in our dietary preferences uh, we have a plant based lifestyle uh, i'm not sure this works for everybody but it's worked for me and that i do believe is uh, very key because what we put at the tip of our tongue ultimately dis- determines the vitality of our bodies and minds but having uh, said all this you know about my uh, leading a disciplined lifestyle and you know my love for yoga and uh, being a vegan i also believe that your fitness both in a physical and mental sense originates within it doesn't originate without it doesn't originate beyond us so it is within the mind and within the heart of each of us all that we determine uh, how fit we are i must share with you that it's not that i don't share my own uh, set of challenges mm-hmm. i've had you know my life has been like the life of any other person mm-hmm. in our society there've been ups there've been downs there've been facing challenges i've seen the whole cycle of life and um, my mantra really is to live always on a sense of optimism and hope mm-hmm. and not be overcome by Uh, the challenges the problems which we face at that particular point of time another thing i believe is that uh, in all the challenges which we face there's always a purpose and meaning mm. so so long as we understand that there is some purpose and meaning in all the challenges which we face uh, which may not be readily apparent at that particular time but so long as we retain that intrinsic element in f- of faith in our own humanity Uh, i think we all have it within us to do something to surmount what we have to encounter from day to day in our lives so uh, i think i'll i'll leave that uh, yes sir maine ek mujhe pata chala log janna chahte hain aap khate kya hain to sabu sabudana aur ramdana jo up mein bol uski badi charcha hui us par bahut sare logon ne comment bhi kiya ki chandrachur sahib jo hai wo ramdana khate hain sabudana khate hain like <laughs> आशीष रामदाना हाँ साबुदाना नहीं क्योंकि <laughs> हमारे यहाँ महाराष्ट्र में साबुदाने की खिचड़ी बनती है खास तौर पर व्रत के दिन तो पर मैं ज़्यादा करके रामदाना खाता हूँ क्योंकि मैं पिछले 25 साल से मैं सोमवार का व्रत रखता हूँ पर हमारे यहाँ हम महाराष्ट्र में खास तौर पर रामदाना ज़रूर लेते हैं वी कॉल इट लाया इन मराठी इट्स कॉल्ड एमरेंथ इन इंग्लिश and surprisingly you know it's a, it's, it's such a light cereal that if you blow it will blow away but it is one of the most healthy cereals that you can imagine uh, so i have my own uh, preferences i uh, do have some cheat days also when i uh, don't follow a very strict uh, diet but overall you know so long as you keep your uh, mind uh, under control i think that solves a lot of your problems cheat day mein kya pasand hai sir aapko <laughs> well uh ice cream <laughs> so thank you very much sir for giving thank us you. time aur bahut bahut shubhkamnaye aapko judiciary ne jo kar rahi hai jis tarah se constitution bench ke jo puri hearing log sunte hain bada transparency ke dhang se us par comment karte hain ye ek bahut badi uplabdhi hai और हमें ये भी पता चला जब आप बांग्लादेश गए थे तो वहाँ के ऑफिशियल ने भी कहा कि हम भी इंडिया को वॉच करते हैं फॉलो करना चाहते हैं तो एक बहुत बड़ी उपलब्धि है इंडियन जुडिशरी के लिए कि ट्रांसपेरेंसी एक आई है अदालतें अब जुड़ रही हैं न्यायपालिका आम आदमी से जुड़ रही हैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू आशीष थैंक यू